Hi guys, um, I've got a little job on. Uh, don't whatever you do, don't point the camera that way yet. Not yet, not yet. Don't point it there yet. Little job. Um, I've been asked to make some baskets out of balloons for a um, to put sweets in and what have you. Um, I have been busy for about seven hours, but I'm going to show you the result in just a moment. First off, I wanted to just show you um, what sort of work goes into making the baskets. Uh, they're not as easy as they sound, but um, after you've made as many as I have in the past, over the last few years, you kind of get used to it. Uh, so let me sort of show you what goes into it. There's six balloons with a little tail at the end of each one because we're going to push a lot of air out of the end of the balloon. So I'll give it a little squeeze, and I, got, I know it's a bit squeaky. I've got to put a bubble here at the top, give it a twist. On the other side, you'll notice a little piece sticking up here. We'll give that a bubble and a twist. And then both of these bubbles has one on each side. It's a little bit like a star, so we're going to move both of them to one side and give them a little twist as well. That locks them into place. Now we've got to create a circle, a little bit like a spider's web. And you'll have to forgive me if I'm looking like death. It's because I've not had a lot of sleep in the last day or so. Um, it's all been weird. Let's give this a little twist at the top here. A little twist at the top here. And have to twist these bubbles. These are called little pinch twists. It's where I take one of these bubbles right in the middle Bend it over and then I take it, lift it, twist it, and it locks the whole thing into place. Another little twist. And how many have we got? Two more. There's one. When it goes that, it always makes me blink. <laughs> and surprisingly, I'm going to show you how many I've made in just a moment. But surprisingly, I've only had two pop. And that was just two of these little pinch twists. Dead easy. You pull out the balloon, put a new balloon in, it's fixable in seconds. So I'm going to pop these all pointing upwards. So as these two little bubbles are kind of inside, and you'll know what I mean when I say inside, because I'm going to twist this one around here, this one around here, and all the way around, following around a little bit like a spider's web, Which is okay because it is Halloween in a week or so. And a twist around here, and I'm keeping them all the same size as I go around. Every one of them. So I'm going to twist this one around. Here, you haven't pointed it that way, have you yet? <laughs> so we get this pattern here. Now we've got to make the weave, which is making the basket go round. Um, I'm going to show you once, but I'm not going to bore you. So um, I'll show you once and then I'll, I'll cut to the next bit. So we're going to make a bubble, just a small bubble here, and I've got to hold that in place so it doesn't come undone, whilst I make a bubble over this side. Yeah, and I am, um, keep calm, I am a magician. So uh, we've got two here, the same, I'm going to twist that around. Now you can see the basket building up. So we've got this one over here, I need a little bubble. This isn't a teaching video by the way, this is just to let you know, just showing you what sort of weight goes into these kind of balloons. Um, as you go faster and faster, you get around the balloon a lot quicker. Same thing, I'm going to take this one and wrap it around here. And I'm trying to keep them all the same size. Sometimes they're a little bit off, sometimes they're a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, but it doesn't matter because when you finish the whole thing ties in nicely. And we've come to the end, so I've just got to add that bit to that bit. So I'm going to go for the same size as this again. A couple of twists, thread it through, pull it all the way through, and it locks into place. Now, if I straighten these up, you'll get the idea. There is a basket. Now, I'm going to build it up by two more layers, but I don't want to bore you, so I'm going to do a little wavy thing. Really funny, and I've changed. Actually, this is what I've recorded after the bit that I've recorded before that I haven't finished recording that I'll show you in just a minute. Just to mention though, all of these baskets, the balloons, are going to a job today where they're going to be met up with uh, Kerry from Carousel Face Painting. Absolutely brilliant. Check her out on Facebook. Details should be somewhere here about now. I'll leave them there. Um, I'm going to pop them back up at the end, you'll see them at the end. Um, she's going to put all sweets inside the bags, wrapped up in cellophane and what have you. It's going to look ace, it's going to look wonderful. We'll put some pictures on at the end so you can see as well. Let's get back to the making of the baskets. Are you ready? Ooh, you're back, see? The wavy thing works, it's great, and I've made a basket. 
Uh, we've got to the end, I've got right to the top. I've still got a bit of air inside each one of these, but I need to put one of these pinch twist bubbles here right at the top. That will complete the basket. So, are you okay, dog? Are you all right? She's after shadow, she's nuts. We'll put a little bubble at the top of each one of these. That's what the bubble looks like. I hope it's bright enough. We have pulled the cages to a little bit. And I know you've seen what's over there, but that's just a little sneaky peek at what's over there. We've got more than that. So I'm going to pull and twist this bubble two to three times. Same again on the next one. Pull and twist. Give it a little squeeze so the air goes out. Pull and twist. There's a little bit of space there, so I'll give that a little squeeze. And that softens the blue enough to be able to pull and twist bit of a squeeze and a twist. Oh, she disappeared. Oh, she's having a drink. <laughs> Pull and twist. Now we've got a bubble around the top of every one. These ones here are completely useless now. I've got to get rid of these. So I use a safety. Do you want this on your head? Is that better? I'm going to use a safety blade to just go through and pop the balloon at the top. And then we're going to let the air out. I thought it was going to go faster than that. I'll wrap it all the way around and then tie a knot at the top, which isn't the easiest thing in the world really when you've got to, when you've, your fingers are all sore, but <laughs> all the way around, tie a knot, and you'll, you'll see why I'm doing this in just a second. That one's got a little bubble because it had no tail, so I'll just take the bubble out, let it down, all the way around. Pushing it through, and it leaves these sort of scraggy ends. But it's fine. I've got a special thing here to take care of that. All the way down, back the way down. I don't know how I haven't gone crazy doing this. All the way down. Then again, I love my job, so nothing phases me. No challenges phase me. Just please, no challenges. All the way down, one last time, back the way around, all the way through, lost it, tie it up. Ha ha ha, I win. Right, has that got a knot on? Yeah, that's got a knot. Now, I'm going to use my, um, my knees to clamp it with a powder and take off these ends. And there we have a basket. Now you can use this for putting your gifts in for loved ones or children. If you've got a party, you can pop sweets inside here. There's little holes in the bottom as long as you make sure the sweets are big enough or put some big things in the bottom, stop them falling through, or even wrap them up. Um, you can put gifts in. You might have to put red crayon in there. He's one of my best friends. Are you okay, red crayon? No, he doesn't work without putting your hand inside. He's, we'll put that there. Now, I did say I got a little surprise before. <clears throat> this is one. There's another 19. We've got 10 blue, light blue, 10 dark blue. Uh, these are just about to go off to a job, off to a, a party. And behind you over there, that's for boys. Over here, we've got green ones for the boys. All the way up here, sorry about the mess. We just have to throw them wherever we can. Pink ones in here, those are dark pink, light pink in here. Altogether there's 60. Took me about six hours, but it was worth it. So uh, if you're looking for a gift for um, to put your sweets in or for a loved one, uh, give me a shout. I'm Dickie Bow at Dickie Bow Entertainment. Great seeing you. Bye.